Hey everybody, today is December 1st, 2016 and I just got done harvesting some lettuce seeds. The seeds are very cool. Uh, it'll start out uh, looking like these flowers and then once the flower get pollinated and dried up, it becomes this little fuzz here. And then uh, after a few days, under the fuzz, you will see some little black seeds and it looks something like this. So what you can do is you can come by and just pull this whole thing like that and then put it in the bag. And if you just shake the bag around, the black seeds will actually fall down to the bottom, like here. And those are all of the lettuce seeds that you can use to grow next season. So today what we're going to do is grow this indoor in a very small container just for fun so I can show you what you can do with this in the winter time that way you don't have to wait until next season to grow them all again so the my lettuce is this tall because uh, if you don't harvest them they'll just grow that size and that's when it starts to bolt and produce seeds for you to use next season so here we are let's go ahead and prepare the potting soil and we'll throw some of these seeds in here. These are very, very dry, so they're good. They're good to go and ready to be planted. So let's do that. Okay, what we're gonna use is just a to-go container this size. Because this is such a small container, you want something that's deep enough to allow some roots to move around. The soil we're gonna use is the organic potting mix that I got from Home Depot. And we're just gonna Fill the container up. And then we're going to use a little bit of the uh, plant fertilizer. This is the Alaskan um, 466. They come in their own bag, but I have this better container to contain it, so that's, that's why it doesn't have a label. So I just crushed it up a little bit and I'm just going to sprinkle some these are crushed up pellets so that's why they look like that so there it is there uh, and I'm going to just mix this all in uh, the seedlings don't need fertilizer to sprout but these are just uh, to supplement it once they sprout it. And we may have to occasionally fertilize some more, but I'll take you along the way and show you what happens. Let's get some more soil. I just want to fill it all the way to the top of this container. Pat it down a little bit. Now let's get our seeds and spread them out. These are the seeds I showed you earlier. So we're gonna use a spoon. Now normally we don't put this many seeds <laughs> because lettuce can grow pretty big but we're going to grow these sort of like some microgreen style so that's why we're going to put so many seeds. Alright that should be enough. Okay let's, let's mix them into the soil. We're going to pack them down a little bit. Don't push them down too much. And then we're going to give it some water, just a little bit. Because this container doesn't have holes, we don't want to flood this container. Okay, that should be enough. Here's the lid. We're going to cover on top like this. And we're good to go, so let's move them into a resting spot and I'll show you where they go. Okay, here it is, my indoor grow room. That's my light setup. I have two 
three other pepper trees and the lettuce is gonna sit right on top of this container here the cover is sort of like a dome to keep moisture in and these should sprout pretty quick because the seeds has been harvested like an hour ago so I'll come back in a few days when they sprout to show you guys alright guys it has been exactly three days and I have some progress on the lettuce see that the seeds all have started to sprout so fresh seeds only take about three days to sprout so there they are uh, I'll come back in a few days more and update you guys again okay guys today is day number five and check out my lettuce it's growing great I mean it's gotten larger than before and uh, it's growing well so everything's looking good I'm gonna let this grow for maybe another week and then I'll come back and give you guys another update okay today is day number 13 check out this lettuce they're looking amazing it's starting to fill up this container nicely so what we're gonna do today is take a few out and transplant them into these buckets little containers so let's do that real quick so at this stage they're very ready to remove and uh, transplant if you need to so uh, they will do well in the cold weather so if you have um, a, a bed outside and the temperature is you know 40 50s it will work just fine so let's take these out and I'm gonna put two into these containers uh, I'm not gonna try to damage some of these roots so let's pick the one that are furthest away We'll just take this small one here and then we'll put that in there. So the soil I'm using here is the same as those organic potting mix that I added some perlite to it. And then we're just gonna there we go. We finished one. It's a lot smaller than some of these larger ones, but that's fine. Because it's in its own bucket, it's going to grow much faster. So we'll take another one. Here it is. Look at that nice long roots. So we'll, let's make a nice hold here. We only need one. And I pre moistened the soil, so that's why it's kind of like that color. Okay, that's two. I'm only gonna do two and I'm gonna leave the rest here, so I'll, I need to put this guy back. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy some water. But let's put this into the tent and I'll show you where they go okay there it is they will be resting there for a while and so I will come back soon and give you guys some updates as they begin to grow alright today is exactly two weeks after we took one lettuce or two to place in the cups and so the total day for these all of this is about 26 days so 26 days total and look what I have these are beautiful lettuce microgreens you can start picking leaves off here 
and use them in a salad or whatever you like and you can actually pick a few of these out as we did before and throw it into your raised bed if uh, the temperature is not freezing they will grow and look at the one in the cups they are doing very well much better than these because they're not fighting for space so they have their own container and um, you can leave this in here and use the method that I use in the other video where you can allow them to grow cut a few leaves and then let them grow back cut a few more leaves and let them grow back and they will keep producing for you so there you have it guys uh, lettuce is very easy to grow you can grow it fully or you can grow it microgreens method and you can enjoy lettuce all winter if you do it this way okay I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and thank you for watching